Researchers say what they found in Yellowstone Hot Springs could help them understand how ancient life adapted to a world filled with oxygen. Scientists in the US have uncovered new insights into how some of the earliest forms of life on Earth adapted to a world with increased oxygen levels. The research, led by Montana State University, reveals how ancient microbes evolved in extreme environments, providing clues to the origins of life on our planet. For more than 20 years, Professor Bill Inskeep from Montana State University's Department of Land Resources and Environmental Sciences has been studying microorganisms living in the hot springs of Yellowstone National Park. In the new study, Inskeep and colleague Mensur Dlakic, an associate professor in the Department of Microbiology and Cell Biology, wanted to add to their understanding of how life evolved before and during the Great Oxidation event, when Earth's atmosphere changed dramatically about 2.4 billion years ago, shifting from almost no oxygen to the 20% oxygen we breathe today. To do this, they studied microbes living in two Yellowstone hot springs, Conch Spring and Octopus Spring, both located in the lower geyser basin of Yellowstone National Park. These locations were chosen because they are similar in many ways, except that Conch Spring has higher oxygen levels than Octopus Spring. This meant they could study two contrasting thermal environments with low and high oxygen levels. The team focused on three types of thermophiles, heat-loving microbes that live in both springs, where water temperatures reach a scorching 88 degrees Celsius, 190 degrees Fahrenheit. When oxygen levels began to rise during the Great Oxidation event, these microbes were likely the first to adapt, Inskeep says. These microbes live in ribbons of thin, thread-like structures that sway in the flowing hot water, like tiny underwater plants. Although the ribbons in both springs look similar, the scientists found that they host very different microbial communities. They found that the ribbons in Octopus Spring, which has more oxygen, also have a greater diversity of microbes. Octopus Spring contains 10 populations not seen in Conch Spring, and these include early evolving bacteria and additional archaea, Inskeep said. By analyzing their genes, the researchers found that the microbes in low oxygen conch spring had highly active genes adapted to survive in oxygen poor environments. Meanwhile, the microbes in octopus spring expressed genes better suited to higher oxygen levels, suggesting they evolved to thrive as the atmosphere became more oxygen rich. Inskeep and Dlakic work is helping scientists piece together how life has adapted to Earth's changing conditions over billions of years, and Yellowstone seems like a great place to do this kind of research. It would be incredibly difficult to reproduce such an experiment in a lab. Imagine trying to recreate a hot spring with just the right amount of oxygen and sulfide. While these ancient microbes may seem far removed from human life, they offer a fascinating glimpse into how all living things, including us, evolved to survive. 
It may seem counterintuitive to understand complex life by studying something simple, but that's how life must have gotten started.